Hey guys, what's up? I'm kind of excited for this video because I tried a new art subscription box, the sketch box, before I was doing the scrawler box, which was $25 a month, and this is $35, so it should be even better, and I'm very excited. So here's our first look in the box. I think it's going to be the same where it's going to have supplies, and then it's going to have paper or something that you can use them on. So this is artist tiles. I was just checking to see if I need paint on my hands so I don't ruin these perfectly clean tiles. So they're really thick little cuts of paper and I think there's about 20 of them. So they're Strathmore. They're pretty nice. So I'm kind of wondering what you can use on those. Seems like it could be a lot of things. But here we have a sharpener so I'm guessing it's going to be some kind of pencils involved. You're probably thinking, uh, hello, duh, we can already see all the pencils, but I try not to spoil the surprise for myself. It's kind of fun to like pull them out one at a time, be surprised. But first I've got this little set of three colors here. They're really nice colors, not just like your basic primaries. Let me just pause really quick because I know I'm flying through because I am going to use the supplies. But let me just tell you those three pencils are Tombow colored pencils. And they're actually three colors that were not previously available in the U.S. They're Yolk Yellow, Russet Brown, and Silver Gray. So I just wanted to throw that in. So next we have these two full blenders. I'm not even going to try and say their name. But they can just blend out any color pencils and they look like they're really nice. Here we have a Sketchbox sticker. I would assume they're not going to look like that every month, so I guess you get different ones. And here's the March information. Like I said, I want to be surprised. Not going to look at it. Next we have two large Creta Color Mega Color pencils in Ochre Light and English Red. Here I would say is the main set in the box. It's five color pencils. It's the Chameleon Double Ended, and since they're double ended, you actually get 10 colors and on each end is a color that would blend the other color out so it's a really nice set and last but not least you have this little eraser that's half rubber and half like sand i suppose so that is everything for my first ever sketch box that's the march sketch box and i'm really impressed with it but i'll talk more about why when i wrap up for now, since every month doesn't come with a challenge, I got to decide what I wanted to draw, so I based it on the colors. And since we have a lot of yellows and green and blue, I decided to draw a sunflower. This obviously isn't a tutorial, I just wanted to show the supplies in action, so it's going to go really fast, but that's how I do it anyways. So what I'm doing here first, of course, I sketched out the sunflower on one of those little artist tiles. And I'm going to really lightly solve the colors, which is what I do when I paint. So I paint a lot more than I draw with color pencils. So my technique kind of comes from how I like to paint things. Um, if you have any advice on color pencils, I'd love to hear it. But I just really lightly decide where all the colors are going to go so that I have something to build on. I probably talk about this in all my videos, but I like to do it this way because I get very overwhelmed when I'm looking at a blank piece of art, so I just start to lay the colors down so I can build. For the first layer, I used Tombow Yolk Yellow, the Double Ended Pine and Teal, and the Creta Color English Red for the center. Now I'm going to sharpen up the Creta Color Ochre Light to darken up the petals. That sharpener is actually really nice. It's Creta Color as well. It has two holes so it fits the larger pencils as well. And it has a catch on it so it catches the shavings which is actually much more convenient than you would think. Color pencils are very different than oil paint which I've been using a lot of recently in one major way. Well, <laughs> a lot of ways. But the one like technique way is that you have to leave the light areas blank because you can't layer white really on top of dark as well as you could with an oil paint. So I would have, with oil paint, just covered all the petals with that yellow ochre first and then gone back with the lighter like white highlights, but you can't do that very well with this. You can see I'm trying to add white right there and it's not really showing up, so I have to make sure to leave the lighter areas blank. By the way, this pencil is the Soft White and Cream from the Chameleon set and I'm kind of using it to blend out the yellow ochre a little bit. 
To be honest, I kind of forgot that the box had those blending sticks, so I'm doing the technique of adding the yellow ochre and then coming back in with the white and even the cream and like blending it out a bit. So later I'll use those blending sticks, but that's a technique you can use is just kind of blending out with a lighter color. One of my favorite parts about using the supplies in these subscription boxes to make artwork is trying to only use what they give you because it kind of forces you out of your comfort zone and you have to be resourceful if there's a supply that you think you need that you don't have. You have to kind of work with what you do and it forces you to do something different like right here. I'm using a dark blue because they didn't have a brown and I'm just blending it in with that English red and I actually think it looks a little bit better like this. It's really fun trying to think outside the box while only using what's in the box. <laughs> And it really forces you to just be creative. I also didn't have any light browns or even very dark yellows, so now I'm using this silver gray Tombow pen to add a little bit more shadow in between the petals. For the stem and the leaves, I'm using the Pine and Teal pencil from the Chameleon set. And I got a real appreciation for this set while I was doing this because of how easily it was to just use the darker color, flip the pencil, and blend it out. It was really convenient. For me personally, blending color pencils is one of the main things that I struggle with when I'm using them. Most times with paint, if you have a yellow and a red, you can do versions of orange in between the two, mix it on the palette, mix it on the paper, but with color pencil, I could never do that. I know that a lot of people can do that where they color them both onto the paper and kind of blend them out, but I've just never really mastered that. So having a lot of colors to choose from and especially colors that work together and blend each other out, it really helped out when I was drawing these leaves. On the center stem of the leaves and some of the really dark parts, I used the russet brown pencil from the Tombow set of three. Right there you can see I use it just to add a little more depth and a slightly different color in there. I'm going to go ahead and skip over me coloring in that last leaf because it's the same as the first one. I think you guys get the idea. And while I add in some final touches, I'll tell you a little bit about what I thought of all the supplies. First of all, I just want to say, don't judge these pencils based on my artwork. I never use color pencils. I did this really quick, just had a little fun, sketched a little sunflower. So it might not look professional, but that's not their fault. <laughs> However, I was very happy with how they performed. So this is going to be like the most Rachel or like Libra answer ever, but they were all my favorite, but for different reasons. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and start with the blender since that's what I'm using now. These have a lot more weight to them than you would think. I was thinking they would be like rubbery or feel like a pencil, but they almost feel like marble, yet they sharpen really easily and they blend really well. So I definitely like those. I love the sharpener, I talked about that earlier. There's also an eraser that's half rubber and half sand, and it actually erases color pencil, which I've never had an eraser that did that before, so I definitely recommend that. And last but not least, we have the color pencils. Probably the most memorable would be the chameleon set because they're double-ended and you get 10 colors out of just five pencils. On each pencil, you have a darker color and a lighter color to blend that out. So that was really convenient. I really liked those, they worked great. I also really liked the Tombow. It was cool they gave us three new colors to the US. They were probably the smoothest of all of them. They're really buttery. I just like that in my color pencils. So that stood out to me. Also, the Creta colors were really smooth. I like that they were so large. I don't know if I've ever used a large color pencil before. So that was really cool as well. But honestly, all of these pencils performed really well. Better than any I've ever used before. So I would recommend any of these. They all worked great. I'm extremely impressed with this month's box. I can't wait to see what comes next month. If you want to see, don't forget to subscribe. And until then, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!